Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting problem, which is kind of homemade. So we have square root of 2 minus 1 to the 6th power equals a minus b times the square root of 2. In this case, a and b are integers. And we're going to evaluate a squared minus 2 times b squared. Great, so I'm going to be presenting two methods. Let's start with the first one. Our first method, unfortunately, is a little bit painful. So our mantra is no pain, no gain. So we're going to be expanding this expression. So this is a good practice, especially if you're learning about the binomial theorem. Remember, a minus b to the sixth power can be written as a to the 6th power minus 6a to the 5th power b plus 15a to the 4th power b squared and then minus 20a cubed b cubed. I'll probably need a little bit more room here so let me go ahead and move this over here. So kind of like write it this way and so this is going to equal a minus b to the 6th power. All right and minus 20 a cube b cube and then we're going to have 15 so it's just going to repeat itself kind of symmetrical you know uh, in a format uh, minus now we're going to have the 6 again a b to the fifth power notice that the powers of a and b are kind of switched around plus b to the sixth power and if you apply that to square root of 2 minus 1 to the sixth power we're going to get the following square root of 2 minus 1 to the sixth power is going to equal square root of 2 to the 6th power minus 6 times the square root of 2 to the 5th power plus 15 times square root of 2 to the 4th. Notice that the powers of 1 I don't write because they're all 1s so we don't have to worry about it. Minus 20 to the 3rd power plus 15 times square root of 2 to the 2nd power minus 6 times the square root of 2 and finally plus 1. Awesome. So I've kind of did the work for you, so you don't have to worry about the details. This is going to turn into something like this. 8 minus 24 root 2 plus 60 minus 40 root 2 plus 30 minus 6 root 2 plus 1. Now how I got those values, for example, if you're raising square root of 2 to the 6th power, you can just square it and then cube it, you'll get the 8, so on and so forth. And notice that this is important. When you raise square root of 2 to an odd power, uh, it's going to contain a square root of 2. So it's, uh, it's still going to be irrational. And that's an important concept. Great. Let's go ahead and um, add like terms. 8 plus 6, that's a 68. That is a 98 plus 1 is going to make 99. And then we have negative 24, negative 64, and negative 70 multiplied by square root of 2. Awesome. So we got uh, square root of 2 minus 1 to the 6th power equals 99 minus 70 root 2. But our expression said something like a minus b root 2, where a and b are integers. Obviously, integers are rationals. Therefore, we can safely say that a must be 99 and b must be 70. Otherwise, you're going to get a contradiction. If um, a and b are rationals and this equality is given, then uh, what I said is true. Okay, and remember the question was asking for what? The question was asking for a squared minus 2b squared, 2b or not 2b, right? Okay, and our expression was given as a minus b root 2. Okay, awesome. Uh, so how do you evaluate this? You just plug it in, right? It's going to be 99 squared minus 2 times 70 squared. 99 squared uh, is uh, 9,801. You can evaluate it. It's 99 times 99 or there are some shortcuts. You know, uh, 70 squared is 4,900 or 4,900. Multiply that by 2. You're going to get 9,800. And if you subtract those two values, you get 1. Hmm, That's kind of interesting, right? All right, great. Now let's talk about the second method. And you're like thinking, there must be an easier way to solve this problem, right? Okay, let's take a look. So now, we are given, we are given that square root of 2 minus 1 to the 6th power can be written as a minus, um, a minus b root 2. 
right? And A and B are integers. Now, by using the binomial theorem, we can easily show that square root of 2 plus 1 to the 6th power is going to contain uh, the odd powers of square root of 2, but they will come with a positive sign. The ones that come with a negative sign from the first one is going to be coming with a positive sign. Therefore, the coefficient of square root of 2 in the general case is going to be positive. Therefore, this is true. So if square root of 2 minus 1 to the 6th power is that, you just change the sign and it all works. Isn't that awesome? It's really cool, right? A lot of Olympiad problems actually depend on this fact. But anyways, that's why I said kind of homemade. Okay, great. Anyways, so now here's what we're going to do. We're trying to solve for a squared minus 2b squared, right? 2b or not 2b squared. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to multiply these together. And the right-hand side is going to give us from difference of two squares, a squared minus 2b squared. But notice that these two can be multiplied together because they both have six powers and their product is one. So we get one on the left-hand side and a squared minus 2b squared on the right-hand side, which is what we were looking for. Therefore, the answer is one. And this brings us to the end of this video. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.